What's up, home slices? Welcome back to my channel. So, thank you for tuning in. If you clicked on this video, that means you probably like food and you're probably hashtag relatable. Hi, we're just gonna agree to ignore a little string in my hair. Thank you. This video is all about food, which is really fun for anyone who's a human, really. Basically, it's a Sunday night and I was like so hungry. I just hate that you have to pay for food. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. I was kind of sarcastically looking up on the internet how to get free food. I actually found some fun discoveries. Through that, I thought of this idea of going like a week without paying full price for any food. Now, I had the purest of intentions for this video. Oh, also. <laughs> I was really planning on going all week without paying full price for any food. But, you know, life happens. Hashtag life happens, all right? So I've tried to vlog a little bit each place that I went, but I was not super successful. I still will tell you all these tips and things that I have for you. I'll just take you through my week. Um, basically, I don't remember exactly because it's been a while. Monday, I went to Dunkin' Donuts in the morning. If you keep your Dunkin' receipts on there, it says like, take a survey and you can get a free donut. So you just have to go online and take this five minute survey. And, um, once you're done, it just emails you like a coupon. And next time you go in with the purchase of, I think a medium beverage, you get a free donut. And so I went ahead and did that. <laughs> Wait, uh, for zero dollars. Love that for me. Also, at Dunkin', I had um, money on my app. That was just kind of a fun bonus for me that doesn't just happen to everyone. So I used my app, uh, my Dunkin' app, and the money that was on that to buy the drink and then used the email from the survey that I took to get a free donut. So I got free Dunkin' Monday morning. A couple tips with, that go along with that is first of all, keep your receipts a lot of fast food or like um, just chain places in general will have on their receipts like take a survey and get a free something I know a lot of times I don't keep my receipts um, because I either just don't like I don't need them if I paid with cash or I just don't they print them off anyway most of the time if they print them off anyway I recommend you keep them I know that like receipts are pretty bad for the environment so take that with a grain of salt and then also a lot of times with apps you just get free stuff with downloading yeah I recommend getting the apps for your favorite places let it be let it be let it be I decided to go to this place called campus coffee bean which is a coffee shop here in Flagstaff I just decided to go there because I like working in coffee shops and I wanted to get all my work done. Um, so I was like, I'm going to go to this coffee shop and just grind, literally grind coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't free per se, but I did use pocket points. If you don't know what pocket points is, I highly recommend you get to know her. Um, I think it's, it's primarily college students, maybe high school students slash the rest of the world by having it locked while you're on campus you'll earn points for each minute you have it locked the goal is so that you're like not on your phone during class hashtag be present wow, i can't believe i'm literally just i don't know what this is please ignore this um it's easier than you think to rack up these points and so then you're like oh my gosh i have 300 points what do i do businesses in the area can choose to participate in like different discounts for students as rewards for having your phone locked so at this place called campus coffee bean i get either 20 percent off my drink or if i go with another person i can get buy one get one free so that is what i did i went to the campus coffee bean and i got 20 percent off my latte what's up it's a little bit later um i had my free duncan this morning which was so blissful now i'm heading to another coffee shop i'm using pocket points pocket points comes through so often for me. Not sponsored by Pocket Points, but literally if Pocket Points wants to sponsor me, I'm your biggest 
fan. Pocket points. Tonight I went to good old Arby's for dinner. Um, I haven't been to Arby's um, possibly in my entire life. And at Arby's, I looked up and if you um, go online and subscribe to their newsletter, you get a coupon that gets you a free sandwich, just like Arby's Classic Sandwich or Euro, which was what I got, with the purchase of a small drink. So I went ahead and subscribed to Arby's newsletter. Love that for me. Got the coupon and went there, used it, bought a small drink. I got a free roast beef euro. I can't say it's my worst Monday night. Next stop, Arby's. Bag secured. So that's another tip. Maybe subscribing to newsletters, um, things like that, because businesses want people to get their newsletters. They don't write them for themselves. I know that because I am a PR major. <laughs> this is what this wasn't my healthiest week. I'll just tell you that right now. So then, what did I do Tuesday? Oh wait, I remember what I did Tuesday morning. M my small group, who I meet with on Monday nights. Woke up at the crack of dawn and went to IHOP because it was free pancake day. But the intention is that, you know, you get the free pancakes and then you make a donation to the charity, which I believe is the Children's Miracle Network, which is a super, super good organization. Nonetheless, we did get free pancakes at IHOP. You got a free short stack. That's my next tip. Holidays. Holiday sales. Holiday food sales. I had a gift card to Subway. So I was gonna go somewhere after class, get that six inch wheat chicken boy, run up to the checkout, literally bursting at the seams with excitement for this sandwich. And they don't accept gift cards at the campus location. So I was pretty upset. So I decided then to go to Dunkin's. That's when I went to Dunkin' and got the free coffee and donut. Yeah, a little update. Things are not going as planned today. She's like, oh, we actually don't accept gift cards. And I was just like, I was kind of flabbergasted and I really would not have gone there. I would have known I had to pay for it. However, I love Subway with all my heart. I would have gone somewhere else and finessed a deal. So sorry to let you guys down, but the passion is still there. So if you have a gift card, use that bad boy. The good news is I went to good old Dunkin' Donuts yet again. So really excited to eat it. I was kind of tainted. Of course I'm going to eat it, but I was going to eat it with disdain. But now I'm going to eat it with a smile. So <laughs> Tuesday night and went to... Um, wing night at Buffalo Wild Wings. Half price wings or something? There's a deal. Mm -hmm. oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And again, have pocket points for a discount. So, pocket points, get them. Retweet if you don't remember what you did on Wednesday. So, Wednesday, um, I talked a little bit about this while I'm vlogging. But I was kind of um, a little bit hindered by the weather. I didn't eat until later in the day and about two o'clock I went to Dunkin to get the coffee and donut like I had every other day at two because I wanted to get the happy hour deal. From two to six, um, Dunkin offers iced coffee for $2 plus tax. So usually you go there with $2 and some change during happy hour it's really, it is quite happy. However, I don't know what happened this time, but it was $4, which is more than I've ever paid for a Dunkin' drink, and I really just don't understand what happened. And I was like, oh, it's happy hour, right? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So today is a Wednesday. Oh, I had a plan for food today, and it didn't work out. What's new? Literally, look, I get an egg. Are you kidding me? I need to go to Target to get some more cleaning supplies. I'm trying to think of places that are near Target that have cheap food. It's my hindrance today is the weather. I think I'm gonna go to Dunkin' at two because that's when happy hour is. Get my coffee and free donut. There's a place called Flame Broiler right near Target. So you get like bowls of rice and chicken and veggies. And there's a deal on pocket points with that place that is buy one get one free. So if I buy one and I'll eat it this afternoon and then I'll keep my other one for tomorrow. And pocket points, again, finessing the system. I love pocket points. I walked to this place called Flame Broiler, which I explain a little bit in my vlog portion of this day. And I use pocket points yet again. And I got buy one get one free flame broiler rice bowls. 
So that was my dinner for Wednesday. I just love, I love pocket points. I really do. I could really be a good sponsor for you, pocket points, if you're interested. Look at me. I'm a pocket point. I just scream pocket points. Then, Thursday, leaving for spring break, I need a class. I was in a very good mood on Thursday, and I really didn't vlog much Thursday. In the morning, I went to Starbucks on campus, and I used my good old reusable Starbucks cup, which gets you a discount. So, though it's not free, and it's not a huge discount, it's good for the environment, and you get a small discount, so still it's not full, full price. Yes! I, in the car ride, ate my other flame broiler that I bought Wednesday because on Wednesday I got to buy one, get one free, and I ate one Wednesday, and I ate the free one on Thursday. So it was super duper fun. Then, in Phoenix, since it was March 14th, it's National Pi Day, 3.14, 314, March 14th, 3.14, that's pi. That's pi if you didn't know that. Sorry, I'm a genius. So yeah. It was National Pie Day, and so a lot of pizza places were having deals. And we went to a place in Phoenix. I don't remember what it's called. You gotta pick your type of dough, cheese, and one topping. With the purchase of a small drink, you got the pizza for $3.14. Then on Friday, my parents came to Arizona, and so I was like, not doing this video anymore. That was it folks, and hopefully these can work out for you if you're a hashtag broke college student or anyone who just wants some like cheapo food, you know what I mean? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, be a home slice, and uh, smile, smile lights up the world. Bye.